What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Wow, what a crazy few weeks this has been. Uh, this video is a very mixed emotions video. We are like a day and a half post fight. I had my first ever boxing fight against Julie Pocker at the Kingpin's quarter final. Unfortunately, it didn't go my way and I'm gonna be answering all of your questions you sent me on Instagram. At the start, like when I first came out of the ring, I was like, I don't feel like I've lost. Like I'm so proud of myself, which I still genuinely am. Like 10 weeks from nothing to going into a ring with someone who has 10 years of experience and has fought before. I'm so proud of myself for everything I've achieved, but I woke up this morning, I'm not gonna lie, feeling like I've lost and I'm kicking myself because I know I could have done more. I'm gonna talk about that in a completely different video. Today is all about answering you guys' questions you sent me on Instagram, and I'm gonna answer them straight from my story. Um, those of you who want to be anonymous, I'll keep you anonymous, but I'm going to answer all of your questions. Amandola1117 said, congrats on your debut. Thank you so much. Um, you did great. Do you plan on continuing boxing? 100%. I have honestly, it sounds so cliche, like I've completely fallen in love with the sport. The whole process of the fight camp, I literally enjoyed so, so much. I've actually got two more fights with Kingpin anyway. Um, one on the 3rd of June, one on the 5th of August. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be fighting Danielka in the next, um, in the semi-finals uh, as, un as an undercard. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Can't wait to jump back into camp and yeah, just learn and grow and get better because I've got it in me, man. I know I have and I want that win so bad. SYM.KB underscore 18 said, how are you coping? I'm really good. Um, I'm a little bit bruised on my arms, like physically. Just got a few bruises and I've got muscle aches like as a normal workout. My jaw's a little bit sore, but other than that, I'm feeling completely fine physically. Um, I'm very lucky I didn't get any injuries or anything like that. And I'm feeling a little sense of loss. I'm kicking myself a lot today. It's very mixed emotions. Like one minute I feel so proud of myself and, and I really am. I'm so proud of myself for what I've achieved in 10 weeks. Like 10 weeks I did a professional boxing fight from nothing like i have no boxing experience so in that regards i'm so proud of myself but i'm kicking myself a lot because i know i could have done so much more and i had it in me to to win that fight 150 percent so it's very mixed emotions this week is all about rejuvenating reflecting i haven't even watched my fight back yet and then i'll be back into camp next week preparing for the next fight i've had so many kind messages as well by the way guys so thank you so much for all of your support it truly means the world to me. Young underscore money 997 said, who do you think will take Austin McBroom's place since he broken his ankle? Honestly, Kingpin don't tell us anything. Like even when, before we got announced, we weren't told who we were fighting potentially, who's on the card, nothing. So if Austin McBroom can't fight again, they'll just announce it on social media and everyone will find out at the same time basically. Um, so I've no idea. Uh, Danny Dutch said, what was the preparation like towards the fight? This is one thing that I have zero regrets because I know I gave 110% in my training camp. It was tough. I had a pro training camp. I was training twice a day, six days a week. Uh, I live with an MMA fighter, so I followed his camp. My, my partner obviously adapted to boxing. Um, I gave 100% in my conditioning, uh, my sparring. Don't get me wrong, it was tough. Like, I cried a lot. Um, I pushed myself to my limits. I nearly threw up multiple times. And like my sparring, my first time I sparred, I cried. I've never been hit. I'm not naturally an aggressive person. And that took a lot of getting used to. You know, I started from absolutely zero. So I had so much to learn in 10 weeks and be at a level where I can actually fight. Um, so it was tough, it was so tough, but I gave it 100% and I have zero regrets for that. So yeah, it was it was tough, it was tough, but I absolutely loved the discipline, I loved the journey, I loved the whole process of camp and I can't wait, can't wait to, already to do it again, like I've had enough of Easter eggs, I've eaten about four of them out of 15. Barge.ain, I don't want to say it wrong, 
um, said, I think you're fighting Danielka next. If that happens, what are your tactics against her? So, yep, I'm fighting Danielka in the semi-finals. Um, I haven't actually watched any of the fights back. I've not even watched my own fight back. I'm still kind of like bringing myself to do that. Um, obviously, she's a lot taller. She's a lot lighter. Um, she's not afraid to throw a punch. I know that from what I did see. Uh, I definitely need to watch her fight back and study her and see how she fights. I know she's an orthodox, which is, I think in a way it's better. Um, Julie Pocker, I don't know if a lot of you guys know, she switches, so she's Southport and Orthodox. In the fight, she was switching, which is does make it a lot more harder because it means like the right hand switches either side, like the jab changes, all that stuff. Um, so she's definitely someone I need to study and I have something to work from this time rather than just watching someone on pads, which does make it a lot more difficult. Also, I have an experience of being in the ring as well. There's so much to learn from. Um, but yeah, I need to watch Danielka's fight back and see how she fights and come up with kind of like a game plan from there, really. Nath Hales said, what preparations will you do next time to ensure the victory? Do you know, I think my biggest downfall in this is that I wasn't aggressive enough and I didn't push forward enough. I think if I was more aggressive, which is something I'm 100% going to be working at, at in this next fight camp because I'm not naturally an aggressive person, um... I think if I was more aggressive and pushed forward, I would have definitely had it. Like, after the first round, Julie was gassed. Like, she was tired. And if I went for it, like, I had a full gas tank. And if I went for it, I, I, I would have had it and I would have won. Like, I knocked her a few times and she was a bit shaky um, from a couple of my hits. So, I think if I was more aggressive and pushed forward with, with the combos, with the hooks, I've, I think I would have had it, which is what I kick myself for so much. Um, but you know, it's a lesson learned. I'm going to watch my fight back and, and learn and get better and grow and put it into my next fight. Um, so yeah, definitely aggression and being first is something that I'm definitely going to be working on for my next fight. It's Universe with a one said, who is my dream opponent? I really, really, really want to fight Elbrook. Um, Elbrook, if you're watching, I'm calling you out. I've called you out about 10 times now. But, um, yeah, man, I think she's going to be the most challenging fighter. She's got the most experience. You know, she's undefeated. And I think if I defeat her, that's going to make me the best in the YouTube boxing game, right? So, 100%, I want to fight Elbrook at some point, you know. I'm not sure if it's going to be in Kingpin now or if it's going to be outside of Kingpin in the future. Elbrook is definitely someone I have my eye on. And yeah, she's someone I definitely want to fight. Amin underscore 23323 said, was it hard gaining slash losing weight? First of all, <laughs> I have no problem in gaining weight. So if someone said to me, Danny, you're looking a little bit slim. No problem. I'll gain 10K, look, 10kg in a week. I love my food. I have no problem with gaining weight, but losing weight is a different story. Um, obviously, I used to be morbidly obese. So I am used to diet culture. And I think the biggest thing is having a reason to get in shape or to get healthier or to lose weight. Um, for me, for this boxing thing was I had to make a weight. I had to make 63 and a half kilo. Start a camp 10 weeks ago, I was 70, 71. So I had quite a bit to lose. Um, I didn't find it hard. I think because I was so focused and I had to make weight. If I didn't make weight, you get a fine and risk not being in the tournament that kind of thing and for me that wasn't an option like I needed to make weight so I did not cheat on my diet but I think my biggest advice is holding yourself accountable staying consistent learning about food and health and fitness is definitely like the the top advice I would give but yeah no with this camp weirdly I did not struggle like every other diet or thing I've ever done like I've always struggled and I've always cheated but this camp like I wanted it so bad that I was so focused and I was just so drilled in and nailed in I didn't cheat once and I'm really proud of myself for that how was fighting Julie what is your experience I'm Brazilian I actually love Brazilians by the way like even though I got all the booing and stuff like after the fight it's to be expected right I feel like all Brazilians stick together and after everyone was so kind and they all need pictures of me and like they were saying they love me and stuff so I love Brazil um, <laughs> what was it like fighting Julie? 
I still stick by my word. Julie doesn't intimidate me at all. I would say she is very strong. She is fucking strong. Like her shots were hard and she winded me a couple of times and she actually shot me a couple of times below the belt. And I'm putting myself out there right now, but she actually made me pee myself. I wasn't even on the camera. I full on wet myself in the fight where she punched my bladder and my bladder just like basically exploded. I full on wet myself in the fight. So I actually still need to watch my fight back and watch her shots because I think a lot of them were below the belt. And my, my boyfriend, Akon, um, who's also my head coach, apparently had a go at the referee a few times saying like, she's fucking, she's shooting me where she shouldn't be shooting me. Like, that's not fair. Yeah, no, she, she's, she's really strong. She's, she's quite slow, but nevertheless, she won the fight. And, and yeah, um, I think if I'd have pushed forward round two, round three, round four, round five, I would have had her because she did guess out quite quickly. Um, and I just stayed back, which is something to learn from. Molly X Dale says, what happens now? So I'm still fighting in Kingpin. Um, I'm guaranteed three fights, no matter the outcome. So I'll be fighting June 3rd in Dublin and August the 5th in August. August the 5th? August the 5th in the O2, um, O2 Arena. So I'll be fighting my next fight in the undercard against Danielle Carr. So the way the tournament works is winners versus winners, losers versus losers. Um, so you're guaranteed three fights no matter what with this. So yeah, still got two more fights with Kingpin. Hopefully some more in the future because I'm loving it and more experience the better. Victor underscore Santoro underscore said, what was it like stepping in the ring for the first time in such a big event? Honestly, nothing describes the feeling. It It is the most surreal but best feeling in the world. Like, I love the cameras, the bright lights, the, the fans. I love all of that. And be, to be honest, though, I did not expect the amount of booze. Like, I did not expect that many Brazilians to be there. So when I first walked out, obviously, I was getting so many boos. But the whole experience is surreal. Like, nothing describes it. Like, I tried to stay as calm as possible working on my breathing techniques. But, you know, the adrenaline is, is fucking going. And, and when you're in that ring, like... I couldn't hear or see anyone except for I could hear my coaches and that was it and obviously see my opponent which is really good which shows that I was focused um but I don't remember half the things that happened in my fight like like my coaches were saying I was doing some things and I don't remember it at all I think the adrenaline's so high that you come out and you just like everything just becomes a blur but all I can remember is positive, so it was honestly like the best experience of my life and nothing can describe it until you've done it. It's really scary and, you know, obviously you've got to go out there knowing that you're either going to win or lose and you've just got to put everything into it. And I think that's one thing I kick myself for is that I know I could have done more um, with pushing forward and being more aggressive, but that's definitely something I'm gonna to work towards for the next fight. And I'm feeling super confident that I've got it and I want the win so bad, I really do. Like, I really want it. Um, so I'm just gonna to work towards my next fight. Jessica Barker X said, how tall are you? And what was the height difference between you and your opponent? So I am five foot eight and a half, nearly five foot nine apparently. I thought I was five eight, but apparently I'm a lot bigger than that. So I'm five eight. And I think Julie's like five six, five seven. So we were kind of similar heights. Obviously, I was I was the taller opponent. Hoodstar, this is a really good question, okay? Hoodstar dot KJ said, after the tournament is over, would you want to fight Julie again? One hundred percent. I want a rematch with Julie Pucker. Um, knowing what I know now, I know how she fights, I know what it feels like to actually get in the ring, like, I've been training for 10 weeks, man, like, I would love another rematch with Julie, I will fly to Brazil, I think they were talking about December, they're gonna do, like, a big event there, Julie Pocker, I would love a rematch, 100%, I'm gonna get back in that gym and, and work hard, learn what I've learned, and I want another rematch, I want a rematch, because I honestly think I've got it, me v Julie, Rematch part two, 100%. Ideal underscore home asked two questions. First one, are you fighting again at the Kingpin events? You must. I must, I'm gonna. I'm fighting June and August, um, like I said before. And the second question was, 
What do you think you could have done better? I say uppercuts and hooks. I don't necessarily think it's certain punches that I could have done better. I think it's just everything's down to experience and I've been boxing for 10 weeks in my entire life. So I think a lot of it's down to experience. I've had my first fight now, but I think most of all, the thing that I need to work on is my aggression and pushing forward more and being first. Um, I'm not naturally an aggressive person, so it's definitely something I want to work towards. And being first, you know, like being the first to throw a punch instead of waiting for the opponent. Um, yeah, I think being more aggressive 100% is something that I'm going to be working towards and I'm going to bring. Last question, guys, and then I'm going to finish the Q&A. For Lies Ferreria, I hope I said that right, I'm really sorry if I didn't said any advice for those like me starting out i don't want to give too much advice because i'm so new to this as well i've literally been boxing for 10 weeks and i've had one fight i can't believe i've had one i've had a pro fight after boxing for 10 weeks like that is just crazy um <laughs> that's a massive achievement but my biggest advice is get the right get get good coaches and yeah, don't rush into fighting straight away. Learn techniques properly and believe in yourself. That is the most important thing and knowing you're good enough. Um, and yeah, I think that would be my best advice. I can't give too much because obviously I'm so new to boxing myself. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I answered a lot of the questions you guys wanted to know. I'm going to be documenting a hell of a lot more in this training camp coming up. So stay tuned for those videos. And thank you so much for the support always, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.